gonna work as a golf cart taxi driver here in Brookhaven. And I got my golf cart right behind here, and I should probably even equip the taxi job so people can actually call me. Hold up, let's gonna do that real quick. And I do got the phone on me, so now we got the taxi job equipped. We should probably customize the golf cart as well, so let's gonna make it yellow because it kind of looks more like a taxi this way. And should we maybe even do some suspension changes and the rims, okay? Let's gonna change the rims. Let's gonna make the suspension a little taller, and let's gonna change the speed and turbo. Okay, nice. Now we got a pretty sweet golf cart taxi here. Let's go and drive around the city and see if somebody will call me. And bro, I'm already getting a call. Okay, let's go to head over to the caller and yeah, see where it's coming from. And hold on, I should probably change the speed again just so it's a little bit faster. And I'm really wondering if the person I'm picking up is going to be shocked with the taxi that is picking it up. Dude, look at this thing, man. It's so cool. <laughs> All right, I was gonna pull up right beside him. And yo, bro, is he going in or what? Bro, is that a taxi? Yes, it is, my man. Come on, hop on in. Hop on in, bro. All righty. So I think he's kind of shocked that this is going to be his taxi for today. But dude, at least he's getting a sweet ride. And he's going to be sitting in the back right there. All righty, where are you going to, champ? I kind of need to know the destination. I need to go to the summer camp. All righty, well, let's gonna take him over to the summer camp then. Because I'm the taxi driver and bro came in. And should we go for a cool route this time? I think I'm actually going to be driving up the mountain and then down to the summer camp. I really want to test out the off-road capabilities with this vehicle. So let's going to do that, and hopefully he will give me a huge fat tip because I am giving him a ride of his lifetime. Like, look at this thing, man. I'm literally climbing the mountain in Brookhaven here. And, bro, this kind of looks like Mount Everest. Just that Mount Everest doesn't really have trees on it. Anyways, let's going to jump down here. And no, I missed it up. Ah! Holy cow, dude, we fell from all the way on top of the mountain. What? Yeah, sorry about that, boss man. Okay, so I'm really, really struggling with driving today. I thought I would be able to actually gap that little, uh, yeah. I thought I would be able to gap it and kind of like jump over that ledge. But yeah, I wasn't really able to do so and I ended up crashing. Anyways, we have a ride over to the summer camp. And yeah, let's go get our payment. How much should I charge for this ride? Maybe like 100 bucks? Okay, sir, that will be 100 bucks for the ride. Awesome. Okay, you just paid me $100 for the ride, which is not that bad at all. So what I'm going to be doing is take this car over to the city and see if we can go ahead and get some new customers. Let's go to see. Do we got any people walking around here that don't have a car? Oh, what about this dude right here? Bro, why is this guy floating? Oh, uh, that's kind of shady, bro. He's literally floating. Uh, do you need a ride by any chance, Mr. Floating Man? Maybe he's driving on top of something that is not loading in. I'm not really sure, dude, but it kind of freaking me out right now. Uh-oh, I'm getting a new call. Okay, let's go ahead and forget about this floating ghost right here and see where the call is coming from. Where is it coming from, though? Uh, oh, dude, it's coming from way, way, way over there. All right, let's go head over to the caller and see what we got. Whoa, man. Okay, so pretty busy start of the day. And look at that. We got somebody standing on the side of the road here. Let's go and pick her up. All right, and where are you going to, ma'am? I kind of need your destination. To the hair saloon. All right, you got it. And is somebody else actually jumping into my car? All right, it seems like we're actually, yeah, transporting two people this time. And I'm not really sure if the person that jumped in uh, later on is going to be going to the hair saloon as well. Or maybe I need to do like a double uh, destination right. I'm not sure. Oh, dude, she just jumped off. All righty. Well, we're over here by the hair and nails. Okay, let's go and park it up right here. Perfect. And how much should we charge for this? Maybe like 50 bucks. That's going to be $50. And boom, she just gave me the money. Perfect. All righty. Let's go head on out of here and see if we can go and get some more passengers. What about the people over here by spawn? Maybe they need a ride. Yo, anyone here need a ride? Jump into the taxi if you need a ride. Oh, dude, she got her own bike. Oh, man. I really wanted to pick up some more passengers over here by the spawn, but it doesn't seem like anybody's jumping into my taxi. So I guess we'll just have to drive around and see if anybody else will jump in. And what about this uh, girl right here? Maybe she needs a ride. Hey, ma'am, do you maybe need a ride? I am the golf cart taxi here in Brookhaven. So if you need a ride, let me know. Let me know. I can give you a super fast ride because I got the turbo. And bro, she just disappeared. Oh, man. And dude, I'm getting another call. Where is this call coming from? It seems like maybe over from the farm area. Not quite sure, but let's go ahead over to the farm area and see what we got. And yeah, let's gonna drive up towards this bridge right here and I do see somebody standing over by the bar right there. That should be the caller if I'm not mistaken and yeah, that's definitely the caller. Alright, let's gonna head on in there, take a right turn onto the dirt path and see if this person is going to be jumping in or not. Where to, sir? Where are you going to, my man? Alrighty, so yeah, he's sitting on the back here and let's gonna see where he's going. Take me to the burger factory! No! Whoa, man, you don't have to yell at me. I'm just trying to do my job here. And where's the burger factory? I have no clue what it's meaning, bro. Burger factory? Is that going to be Brooks Diner? I want 10 yummy burgers! 
Whatever. Okay, so this guy is definitely on something. Uh, yeah. He, what, what did he even say? Something about burger. I guess this is the place he wants to go. That's called Brooks Diner, bro. But anyways, let's go and park it up right here and get our payment, though. It's going to be 100 bucks. Awesome. Alrighty. He just gave me the money, which I do appreciate. So, yeah. He wanted 10 burgers? That's an awful lot of burgers, my man. Holy bubble. You're gonna eat all of those by yourself? <laughs> Dude, he got some stomach on him. That's for sure. But, yeah. Let's go ahead up towards this neighborhood right here. See if we do got any people running around we can go ahead and pick up and hopefully make some money out of. So yeah, we got a couple of people standing in the street right here. Yo, do you guys maybe need a ride? I am the golf cart taxi here in Brookhaven. So if you need a ride, let me know, dude. I can give you the fastest ride in the town because I got an amazing turbo on this thing. And nope, it doesn't seem like they're jumping in. Why, why are people just standing around here? It's kind of creepy, no? I don't know. Maybe we can actually knock on the door and see if this uh, dude inside of the house needs a ride. Uh, is it going to be coming to the door? I'm not really sure. Nope. Okay, but it does kind of slip. I can basically walk in. Why have you locked it when people can just kind of like slide in here? That's kind of weird. And bro, I'm getting a new call. Holy cow, dude. Is it coming from over by the cave or cove? Whatever you want to call it. I think so, dude. All right, let's go take a ride to right here. And bro, there's another golf cart right there. And somebody has flipped it. <laughs> dude, how can you not be able to drive the golf cars? It's actually like super slow. Anyways, it seems like we got a police officer here with a flashlight. What is this dude doing? What's going on here, officer? You called me. Can you find my purple car? Yeah, sure. I can find your purple car. So it seems like he has lost his car. Bro, it's literally right there. Okay, come with me, officer. Come, come with me, my man. I think I saw it. Okay, so it's right here, man. I uh, can kind of understand it. It's a little bit dark under here, but I found his car. Yep, here's your car, officer. This is going to be your vehicle, my man. Thanks. Can you take me to the police station? Yeah, sure, officer. Okay, so this is kind of shady. Is it doing like an investigation and we're just looking for a car? Maybe that is like a criminal vehicle. I don't know, dude. It just seems kind of off, man. It makes me wonder. <laughs> if, is this guy the criminal? He got a weird face on him. Uh-oh, dude. Am I transporting a criminal who is pretending to be a cop here in Brookhaven? That would be like so, so, so scary. Oh, man. I'm getting another call. I'm literally getting another call. Okay, officer. That's gonna be 60 bucks. There we go. He just paid me and we're gonna head over to the next caller and it's coming from the neighbor up there. Dude, I was just there. Why didn't they just jump inside of a taxi when I was there? I don't know, but let's go ahead up to the caller and see where they're at. Okay, here she is. Hey, man, what's up? Where are you going to? I kind of need to know your destination, ma'am. Alrighty, so I guess I'll just take her down to the town if she doesn't want to talk to me, I guess. I'm just going to try and guess where she's going to. Maybe just drive around until she jumps off. Oh, uh, it's kind of difficult uh, giving rides to people when they're not talking, dude. What is going on here? Yo, dude, are you jumping off? Are you going to pay me? Are you going to tell me where you're going to? I don't know what's going on now, and I'm so confused. Uh oh, I'm getting a new caller. I'm not getting a new caller. Okay, let's go kind of forget about her. And where is the next call coming from? It's going from the same person. Where is the call coming from? I can't even see it. Oh, it's coming from Eagles View there. All right. Well, it was so high up, so I didn't really see it. Uh, but yeah, let's gonna head over to Eagles View here and see what's going on. We do got the caller up here. I think they maybe went for a mountain hike. I don't know. Oh, dude, we got a builder man here. Oh, dude, I'm getting yet another call. That's the same girl that didn't even talk to me. Can you take me to the dentist? Yeah, of course, dude. Oh, look at his teeth, man. Okay, definitely needs to visit the dentist a couple of times. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take him over to the dentist office. Hopefully, he can get it fixed up. And, bro, I'm not going to be picking that person up again because she didn't even want to talk to me. And, yeah, she didn't even pay me for the ride, which I kind of feel scammed from that. But it's it's fine, though. Let's go to take it over to the dentist here. And how much should we charge? Maybe, like, 50 bucks? Okay, sir, that's going to be 50 bucks for the ride. I only have this hammer here. Bro, he only gave me a hammer. I literally just got scammed, bro. Oh, this is so trash. Okay, so that builder didn't really have any money. I guess it's fine, dude. Save your money for your teeth, man. You definitely need to get those fixed. All right, well, that was quite a busy day as a golf cart taxi driver here in Brookhaven. And I would say the golf cart is actually pretty good with uh, doing taxi jobs. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure to hit the like, subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.